Hey everybody, this is uh, Chad Pullins, uh, lead pastor here at Crossroads Church. I've got uh, Jason and Andrea, is it Frazier or for sure? Like how do we actually say it? Well, there's this debate going on among friends, which one it actually is. I would say it's for surely Frazier. It's for surely Frazier. <laughs> so we got Jason and Andrea and Olivia Frazier with us uh, today. And just really excited about just their life, story, testimony, and just want to share a glimpse of that um, with all of you all today. So, y'all, thanks for being with us and taking some time. I know you just got off work a little bit ago. Just really appreciate it. I I would just love for you to share um, maybe just a small glimpse of some ways in which God has moved in your all's life just in in the past year or so. Okay. Um... When I was 16, the doctor told me I had symptoms of polycystic ovarian. And at that point, I didn't really care. I didn't know what it was. Um, and I didn't realize how much of an impact it would have on me and my future husband and my relationship with God. Now, what, um, what's, what is that in a nutshell? It basically means my hormones are out of whack. Right. And I have a lot of cysts um, right. when you shouldn't have them. Right. So you, it'd be really tough to have a baby. Right. Right. Okay. And I didn't realize that when they first told me that. Um, so I met Jason, and our relationship got serious pretty quickly, and we started talking about marriage and kids, and we're like, well, if we get married, we're going to wait two years before we start trying. As two years rolled around, wasn't happening, wasn't happening, wasn't happening, um, so we started going to a doctor, and at that point, I had pretty much put all my faith into the doctors, and God was kind of on the back burner for me, um, so we, we tried one cycle, nothing happened, and then the second cycle, we actually got pregnant, and I had a really early miscarriage. Um, so I was done at that point. I was done yeah. with God. I was done with everything. Um, we did four more rounds with that doctor, and nothing happened. So somebody brought me to Crossroads, and I was like, okay, I'll go, I'll go, <laughs> whatever. Um, and one Sunday, the song Strong Enough came on. Matt and the band played it. And I think that was my emotional breaking point. I wow. just sat there in Sea Wayne Collier and bawled my eyes out. Um, but yeah, then we, we met a new doctor. And long story short, he said, this is going to work for you. And I was like, okay. Um, so on our last time we did it, I said, Jason, this is our last time. We can't afford anything else. And the day before we found out we were pregnant with Olivia, um, I actually called three adoption agencies. Like, you need to help me. Yeah. And I don't even know why I took a test. It was just something that said, you need to take a test. And it came up positive, and now here she is. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. So how, how has that impacted your all's, um, just your walk with the Lord? It, it's really challenged our faith in... And really told us that we need to put all of our faith and our trust in God and and not worry about everything else of the world. Focus on what He is going to do for us. Yeah. Which is so hard to do, right? It is. Yeah. It is. I mean, what, what were some ways what were some ways that you did that? Was it just kind of a conscious decision? Um, I, it was almost a constant battle. Really? Because you, you, you put your faith in something and, and then it, like kind of like a car yeah you trust your car and then the car breaks down yeah and then you fix it and then it breaks down again and you just have to keep your faith strong and and through friends and family you know and you know helping each other and keeping each other up and and prayer right yeah so just like prayer community traveling with folks all those sorts of things god uses in the midst of that and i remember when i when i had my little breakdown i said god whatever you want to happen will happen but whatever happens, I want you to use me to tell other people about our story. Whether we did end up having a baby or whether we went through adoption, yeah. um, I wanted him to use me. Yeah, so he gets the glory right. with all that. That's right. great. So what what would you say? I mean, I'm sure there are folks that may be going through the same thing that you all went through. Mm-hmm. Maybe going through something else where they're having to really trust God. Right. Um, even though they can't really see God in that moment. What would you kind of say to them? Kind of now that you've been through it, what would you say to them to encourage them? I, I would say keep the faith, trust in God and fully, and and he'll do everything that you thought he might do and more. Because not not only did we get a child, but we got a, a perfectly healthy child. 
Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Anything that you would add on to that, Andrea? Just um, I would just say that when we, when I especially put my faith more in God, things got so much easier. I wasn't worrying as much. Um, I just knew whatever was going to happen was supposed to happen, and it just made everything a lot easier than just leaning on myself and the doctors. And absolutely. It was nice. Yeah, absolutely. Well, y'all, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Um, really looking forward to getting to celebrate uh, tomorrow. Um, for all you all that, that are, are listening, um, just want to really encourage you, whatever you're going through today, uh, to know that when we, when we trust that God's plan for our life is way better than any plan that we could have, that it can take a load off of, of where we are, a load off of having to do it on our own, and to really trust that our dad has great gifts for his kids. So I hope that you all have been encouraged by them today. I know that I have, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.